presented by CarShield. Gilbert Corsi alongside Sean Phillips. And Sean, we have a huge main event this week, a first-time matchup between two titans in the Derby City. Absolutely. It's Shane Mercer. It's Rocco Bellagio. You'd think Salt Bay would be here with all the meat that is going to be in that ring later tonight. And also, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see the Dominican Dynamite, Marty Bell, taking on the big flexor and Alexis Littlefoot. You know that the committee is watching every women's match very closely for that coming women's title tournament. And as we know, Marty Bell has been on a tear right here Undefeated. in Derby City. And guess what? She has a great opponent tonight. Young, lots of energy, and Alexis Littlefoot. I'm excited for that one. Let's get to the action. So last time we were supposed to see Dice on Derby City Wrestling, he left because he didn't like the fact that the committee decided to show a world title match that he had been in. And what do you know now? He's got to compete tonight in a six-man match, and who does he bring? His private investigator and his hired hitman to help him out. Beck is a, a private investigator? members of this team, Sean, here in Derby City. I was going to ask if I was going crazy. It seems like every time we see these guys, <laughs> they add another member. Clearly, the exception, Dalton McKenzie, is, is the muscle of the team. That's been I, one big boy. I think he's got enough muscle for all four of them to go around. Muscle on top of muscle. It'll be interesting to see uh, which three are in this contest. Young, hungry, and exciting. That is the team of Audacity. Here. And you're that big, you're definitely hungry. <laughs> I actually heard what uh, Dalton had for breakfast this morning. Oh, yeah? Six waffles. Six. Six for the six man tag. Six, six waffles. With a side of eggs. You wonder how many eggs? How many? Six. crowd is sure getting behind Audacity in this one, but are they going to have enough for the outlandish Zicky Dice? Looks like it's going to be higher crew. Chris Allen starting things off here, and Drake and Omega also competing in this match. Allen and Zicky Dice to start things off. And I'm actually really excited that Derby City Wrestling fans get to see Zicky Dice in action. As we know, Zicky has has was supposed to compete several times here. Yeah, we talked about every it. Every single time he dips out. This time he didn't have an option. The pride and joy of Cocoa Beach, Florida is now in the Derby City. This guy knows it. He's made for TV. Believe it or not, Zicky Dice, he's got the muscle now. He's showing, he's strutting his stuff. The outlandish one, he loves to play mind games. He always has some tricks up his sleeve, but this guy has, what, a 300 day reign as Heritage Jerry? Bro, he still smells bad. Zicky Dice does not play games. In the United Wrestling Network, this guy has been a champion. He has been on top and recently even competed for the World Championship. I mean, Zicky Dice is business when it comes to being in between the rings. So here comes, though, the mercenary. Garrison Creed. One, uh, what would it be like to see Creed and, and McKenzie one on one? Yeah. Muscle on top That of is muscle. a lot of muscle, like two bulls staring at one another and a huge chop from Garrison Creed, the hired hit man. Ooh, but Omega getting the reverse. 
Harris taking him with a huge chop. Chris Allen in there with Garrison here. Oh, see, that's my problem. There's so many of them. I keep just getting everybody mixed up as they go in and well, out. I'm told there's only four, so there's not going to be any more weeks of, of, of getting another member of Audacity. Well, this is Louisville. If I Wait know anything. It. Another shot. And that chop is also right. Is that a shark's tooth that Garrison Creed wears around his neck? I, I think it's probably from a shark that he was commissioned to kill himself. So probably a trophy prize as he gets a whip to the corner. Trophy prize or lunch. The higher gun backed into the corner. And a huge drop kick right from on the Chris butt Allen. of the jaw. Perfect execution there from Chris Allen. Oh, no. the, the higher gun is, is being hit. <laughs> Garrison exists to, to when Zicky puts a hit on somebody. If you make that pun again, I will, I will leave this table. <laughs> Not a fan? Not a fan? All right. Shady McGrady over there, Sean Phillips. <laughs> and Carson Drake. You know, I don't know how many times he's going to adjust his pants tonight before we see him in action, but one more. He's got the blonde hair. He's got the look. But I don't think that the hired gun, uh, Garrison Creed, really cares too much. Carson Drake, six foot one, 228 out of Huntington Beach, California. A major look out of nowhere. Mm. You know, and I've been to Huntington Beach, and that, um, that is... Is, Carson Drake is definitely from there. He is a carbon copy of everyone in the, in the ocean wall. Huge European uppercut. Garrison Creed, special forces experience, black ops experience, 10 years in the army. God, man, this is a higher hit. He takes the job and does whatever it takes to eliminate the enemy. Nice suplex from Beck Reeves. And Beck Reeves is one of the ones that actually, you know, catches my attention the most. This is a, a young what is, guy. What is Beck? Did he just was he taking book? notes? I think the PI was taking notes with a huge boot. Right to Carson Reed. Cover here. Beck's on top. Carson's out in one. And we got to take a timeout, ladies and gentlemen. Derby City Wrestling presented by Car Shield continues. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. Back here, Derby City Wrestling presented by Car Shield on the air. Gilbert Corsi and Sean Phillips on the call. Six man tag team match to start us off this week. Zicky Dice is PI back breathes and the hitman, the mercenary. Could it be enough? And he just, just kicks out of that one. Carson Drake grabbed by the hair. Harrison Creed, and on the opposite end of this matchup here, Sean, is the team of audacity. And they started with the energy, and it looks like Zicky Dice and his hired crew 
are caught back up and right on top. I, I think that's what money can buy you. If, if money can buy you guys like Garrison Creed to come out and tag with you, I think you have the tactical advantage. Garrison Creed is a frontline soldier who saw the worst of the worst, and not just saw it, he's been involved in the shot. Huge shot. There's a little bit of life here from Audacity. Beck Reeves. Up and down. High E over C. The P.I. will be sinking high in the shower tonight. <laughs> I wish you could see Sean Phillips' face right now. It's like you felt it. And go, go, Gadget. Tag in Zicky Dice. The outlandish one. Telegraphing Carson Drake. Uh oh. And what is Garrison Creed doing? Zicky Dice. He's normally the outlandish one. He's normally the one that's causing all the ruckus. But it looks like his hired team, they're ready to be in this ring. Yeah, miscommunication there. And Zicky, uh, he's got one teammate who's taking notes in the middle of the match. Another teammate who's sneak tagging himself. Wait, look at the top right hand side of the screen. There's, they're arguing. It looked like Zicky and, and, and Beck were arguing on the outside of the ring. And it looks like Beck, it looks like Carson Drake still stumbling, but he gets the boot. And a huge shot. Beck Reeves is stunned. Miscommunication. Ooh, but it looks like Beck Reeves can cover here. Carson's in trouble, but he's out in two. Zicky is barking orders to Beck. And Zicky is beside himself as Garrison Creedy. Look, he's holding his hand out. This is not the outlandish that Zicky had planned. Absolutely not. I think, unfortunately for him, his higher help was thinking that it, it was supposed to be the Garrison Creed and Beck Reeves show. But now, Audacity, Carson Drake. Window of opportunity here for Audacity. Carson needs to make a tag here in the worst way. And Chris Allen and Omega D are chomping at the bit on the outside of the ring, ready to get into this fight. Garrison needs to get out of there too, and it's gonna be a question of who's gonna get to their, their partner, to their teammate first. This is insane. It looks like, oh my goodness. Ben gets there and so also comes in the pit bull. And I'm pretty, Omega D. I'm pretty sure Dalton McKenzie handed out some pre-workout right to Omega before this happened because he's got the energy, reverses on Beck Reeves. Explosive suplex here from Could Omega. It? Two, and it is not. Tag me back! Zicky now shouting at the top of his lungs to tag me back. And take a look at Zicky's face. He is stone cold furious, shaking Andrew. his head. Like, I would be less surprised if Zicky was screaming and yelling, but right now, you can tell he is calm, he is angry at his team. Omega sensing victory here, perhaps. Lifts Beck Reeves up, but Beck Reeves, a little bit of life left. And Garrison Creed, Zicky Dice is having none of it. Ooh, well, uh, can you uh, Zicky hires Beck, he hires Garrison to go out and do his bidding, go out and do his fighting for him. So you know, if he's been avoiding fights, maybe that's why they won't tag him. But hold on, we've seen this here. A great kick out by Garrison Creed. Oh, super firing up. Knockout blows, haymakers from Garrison Creed. Carson Drake is down. Could this be the one, two, three? But he's not even going for the pin. He's going to tag. And Beck, did he, did he miss the tag? This is getting ridiculous, uh, says Zicky Dice. It's written all over his face. Zicky just sitting there with his hand out. The PI is going high. Uh oh, what a huge miss. High risk, no reward waiting there. The roll up. Beck's looking at the lights, and that's going to do it. Gets the pin, and look at Zicky Dice. His hand has not lowered since he's held it up to get a tag from his hired help, and it did not come today.
We'll take another look at the closing moments of this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. It was Beck who was trying to go for almost like a, a doomsday device, perhaps. High risk, no reward, nobody home. One, two, three. But yes, if you ask me, Sean, great victory for Audacity. The story, though, <laughs> is the frustration of Zicky dies. Can we get back in the ring here? Zicky just slapped Beck in the face. After the tag, you, you might have missed it at home, but Beck Reeves finally, Zicky Dice demanded that he give him a tag, but Zicky is not having it. I hope, I hope he can get his money back on this hired help. Trouble in team, outlandish. Rocco, look who it is. Yeah, who it is. Someone you haven't been in the ring with ever before. Yep. I heard around here you're supposed to be the big dog, right? Mm -hmm. You're the big one around here. Everyone's talking about the show stealer. Obviously, you haven't heard of who I am. The Iron Demon Shane Mercer. In case you didn't see the video already, go Google me. Look me up. See what I've done to people twice your size. See what I've done to people that weigh hundreds of pounds more than you. So if you think your size or anything you have done is going to intimidate me, it's not. Because tonight, in my debut at Derby City, you're going to be the first example that I show everyone what I'm about. And you're going to realize pain is mandatory when I see you tonight. We'll see about that, pal. You don't know who you're messing with. Derby City rest, we make some noise. Definitely quite the the entrance, and I've learned something now that that in, when it comes to the rankings of Louisville rappers, the clear number two behind Jack Harlow is Els Bentley. And we gotta take a timeout, ladies and gentlemen. Derby City Wrestling, presented by Car Show, continues. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. Car Shield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. Car Shield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with Car Shield administrators. Call Car Shield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896. In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt.
You are back, Derby City Wrestling. Going for the roll up here, Alexis Littlefoot. Party out in two. And the one thing that Alexis Littlefoot has to do, regardless of her inexperience, is she has to put the pressure on Marty Bell. Sure. If this is a match that's going to go long, we know that Marty Bell has the experience and, and Littlefoot. knows she can go the distance. So Alexis Littlefoot really can't pump the brakes in this match. Look at the press of Marty Bell, how she tries to stay one step ahead of, ahead of her opponent. And any time, cover here again. Any time that her opponent is on her back, Bell is on top. Really going for a series of near falls. I think we're seeing the guts of Littlefoot, but also the drive of Marty Bell here. Absolutely. And we know that Marty Bell's had that drive. When she made her debut here in Derby City, she got a win over Billy Starks, you know, who is one of Louisville's hometown Derby City's best of the best favorites here. And Marty Bell was able to get the win. I would say that you're, uh, uh, Billy Starks is, is professional wrestling's darling right now. The, the wrestling spotlight is shining brightly on her. So when uh, Marty Bell defeated Starks, uh, the committee and the wrestling world stood up and took notice. And that's the thing is, we might have thought it was an upset, but if you ask Marty Bell, she said, no, this was just a long time coming. And a huge boot from Alexis Littlefoot trying to get the life back into her as Marty Bell has dictated this match so far. Bell is a former NWA Women's World Tag Team Champion with her partner the, from the Hex, Allison K, also a part of the Derby City roster. Irish whip here. Ooh, boot right to the chest. Cross body block from the big flexor. And momentum's gonna take him to the outside of the ring. And Littlefoot is taking this fight to the floor. And these two are slugging it out. And this is where Marty Bell needs to take advantage and steer this match in her direction. Round and round they go. Huge forearms. And what is this? Big Mama, that's what it is. And Big Mama, someone that Marty Bell has a victory over, is in here. Yeah, Marty Bell a few weeks ago was in a hard-fought match with Big Mama, and Big Mama did not come out the victor. Clearly, Big Mama telling Marty Bell that, the, that their business is not done. And these refs need to make something happen, and look at this, Allison Kay. The other half of the hex, Marty Bell's tag team partner, is in the house. And that's a matchup that I would love to see the committee make here in Derby City. More to the story here, ladies and gentlemen. What is going to happen with these four ladies? And I say when, not if. Definitely I'm going to I'm gonna petition the committee to make it happen. I want to see a fight. And Big Mama laughing as she makes her way out. But the crowd here is still in it for Marty Bell as they know this wasn't her fault. Dane Becker backstage here at Derby City Wrestling with Myron Reed and Mickey Midas. Myron, you asked for the floor. You asked to speak to the audience. What do you have to say? I did, man. I asked to talk to my best friend right now. One of my best friends, Mickey Midas. Look, man. Seven years ago, where were we at? And look at us now. Seven years ago, I was just starting out. I was nervous every match. And you were the one that, telling me, hey, you got this, bro. We're a team. We got this. I got your back. And just like we said that last week, we went out there, whether we were on the same side of the, of the post or not, and we put it all on the line, because that's what we do. So just like you gave to me, Mickey, I want to give to you. I want to help you out now, just like you did me. Maybe we can get the band back together. Mickey Minus? Well, you know, we go back like four flats on a Cadillac, man. Let's do it. Let's bring the band back together. We're doing this? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Derby City Wrestling. Be right back after this. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby 
and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call 800-284-5872. Don't worry, it's fake. That's a good Class. Oh, I'll do it. I swear on my mother's grave. Fake threat. Fake dead guy. Fakes like those don't scare me. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. and Learning Center, Gilbert Corsi alongside Sean Phillips. And we have a huge main event still to come tonight. First time meeting between the Iron Demon, Shane Mercer, and Ruthless, Rocco Bellagio. And can you believe that we get the best seats in the house to watch these two behemoths go after one another? I heard a rumor that it was actually Shane Mercer that was the body double for King Kong in Kong vs. Godzilla. Did you so hear that? I did. I wow. actually just told myself that right now. Wow. But it is fact. And those two beasts are going to go at it tonight. Hey, I also want to give a shout out and thanks to Scary Carrie as always, keeping the energy, the fun, and the atmosphere here in Derby City Wrestling. And also, I need to let you know about a big match just made for next week after the fallout that we just saw earlier tonight. Allison K one on one with Big Mama. Left you speechless, apparently, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited. I know what we're about to see. And the X Men. We got a better protect. Dylan Bostic is impossible to deal with for more than uh, a month now. All he wants to talk about is his victory over the Pope. A victory, mind you, that he stole by cheating and exposing the turf up below. And you said Dylan Bostic's been impossible to deal with for a month now. Dylan Bostic is impossible to deal with for more than 30 seconds. <laughs> Facts. He's brash, he's cocky, he's obnoxious, rebellious, a jerk. That is Dylan Bostic. Derby City! The greatest professional wrestler in the history of professional wrestling! Dylan Bostic is back. And one thing I want to address, I am sick and tired of the disrespect coming out of all of you morons' mouth. Each week, I come out here and do exactly what I say I'm going to do. Jeez. I told all of you that I would beat the Pope, and I did. I told you all I was gonna go on a massive winning streak, and I did. Now, I've told you Right now, today, tonight, I'm going to get face to face with the Pope. I told you I'll get face to face and have a face off with the Pope. So what I want to do is I want to bring the Pope out here right now. If he's man enough, come out here and get face to face with Dylan Bostic.
Is this what I think it is? You have got to be kidding me. Is this the actual Pope? No, it's not the Pope! Sean, you're Catholic! I am not, you know what, I can say this. Catholic I may be, this is I'm, I'm, I'm not good at catching up on who's up top at the Vatican here, and, and something tells me this guy might not be the authentic Pope. This is more shenanigans. This is more nonsense. This is more foolery from Dylan Bostic. But you know what? Kudos to Dylan Bostic. I'll give him this. It is Sunday, so people are here. The Pope is present. Maybe if they missed Sunday morning mass. It's Saturday. Now listen, Pope. I'm sick and tired of you coming out here, blessing people, giving sermons, talking to all these people. But I beat the Pope because I'm blessed by God. Oh, now I'm sick and tired of you coming out him? here, acting like you're somebody. Do you know who I am? Oh, did he just Do slap? He just slapped the Pope. I'm Dylan Bostic. Do you understand me? Oh my goodness. Handed from Dylan Bostic. One of the most disrespectful things I've seen here in Derby City. And the real Pope, Elijah Burke, is in the house and seen enough. Look, look at me, Daddy. You looking at the truth. The Pope is here. Uh, And you heard it right here, straight from the Pope's mouth. Dylan Bostic is beside himself. We're going to go to break. We'll see you when we get back to Derby City Wrestling. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896. Dane Becker here backstage at Derby City Wrestling with Jordan Clearwater, the golden one. Jordan? Golden one? Excuse me? Golden one? Do you know who I am? Look, I know the Louisville education system isn't the best, but it's golden boy. And fix your tie, you're embarrassing yourself. Now ask your stupid question. 
Uh, Jordan Clearwater, you've got a match in two weeks against Moose for the number one contendership for the United World Heavyweight Championship. Jordan, what are you going to do to get that back around your waist? First off, the only reason it's not around my waist right now is because of that idiot Johnny Applespeed and that disgusting ex-con Danny Limelight. You see, they're scheming against the Golden Boy, all of their backstage politics running around making sure that title stays on Danny's waist. And second off, I don't appreciate Moose sticking his nose in my business. I shouldn't have to qualify for anything. I am the golden boy, and that means I am entitled to that United Wrestling Network World Heavyweight Championship. It is my birthright to be your champion and your champion too. So Moose, you're gonna find out when you step in the ring with me, what pure gold really looks like. Backstage Derby City Wrestling here, Jordan Clearwater, back to the ring. Wrestling's what if match in the Derby City for years. What would happen if Rocco Bellagio faced Shane Mercer? Both have been main eventers, both have been perennial champions, but this time is the first time that they've squared off one on one. And it's incredible that we get to see it right here at Derby City Wrestling. Sean's first time here. It's Shane Mercer's first time here. Did you bring this? Did you bring this? Did you bring this to us? I brought. Like did I you? Said, did you write to the committee? I wrote to the committee and said, "I want to see meat slap meat, and we get it here." Meat slap meat. All right, Sean. Thank you for that one. different lands, different worlds, champions who never competed at the same place at the same time, Sean. Kudos to the committee for making this match happen in Derby City Wrestling presented by Car Shield. This is a main event if I've ever seen one. Absolutely, and it's crazy because Rocco Bellagio is built here at six foot five, 265 pounds, but I swear he gets bigger and taller every single time I see him. And so Rocco has the height advantage, but Mercer, Sean, has the strength advantage. Shane Mercer may be one of the strongest competitors pound for pound in professional wrestling today. And that's why they call him the Iron Demon. It's for the weightlifting background. This guy is working in the gym, he's working in the ring, and if anyone is gonna bring a fight to Rocco Bellagio, it's Shane Mercer. So iron is for pumping iron, demon is for the ruthless nature that Shane Mercer brings into the ring. Gonna be a good fight for sure here. Friends. And a flex off as these behemoths stare each other down. Rocco Bellagio says not to be outdone. I've gone to the gym once or twice myself. <laughs> and another big flex from Ch I, I forgot. I, I, I didn't know that the Arnold was this weekend here in uh, Louisville. Or and, and, and it's right here in Derby City Wrestling, <laughs> presented by Car Shield. Collar and elbow tie up. I, I don't know who gets the better of that exchange. Absolutely not a millimeter was spared in that lockup. Shane Mercer holds several state and national powerlifting records. He benches more than 600 pounds. 
and you can tell. I mean, look at the, he is making Rocco work. We, when we've seen Rocco wrestle here in the United Wrestling Network, every single time there's a lockup, guess what happens to his opponent? Sure. They're either on their back or they're in the turnbuckle. Or and this time, or thrown across the ring. Remember when Rocco threw Danny Limelight up, out, and over the top rope One to the, the floor? Craziest things I have seen. And so I, I gotta believe how that messes with the psyche of one Rocco Bellagio because he does yeah. not face many competitors who are as strong or perhaps even stronger than he is. Look at this, Shane Mercer gets the upper hand, gets Rocco in the back. And this is something that we just don't see when we see Rocco Bellagio in the ring. Rocco is a big power, ooh. And and not even a painful slap. That was a that was a disrespectful slap. Look at me, I'm right here. It doesn't take a lot to make Rocco Bellagio angry, and Shane Mercer just did it. That is exactly the ruthless Rocco Bellagio I've been waiting to see tonight. So Rocco is a big power move type athlete. Big choke slam, power bomb. When he gets his hands on his opponent, he, he tries to make it hurt, but it is Shane who is getting the better of Bellagio in the opening goings of our main event. He has got that head, side headlock. Probably gonna wrench the neck here as we see him, but Rocco pushes out. Look at this. Ooh, nice uppercut, catches him. Rocco is going for the plunge here, that choke slam. Ooh. But Shane has it scouted again. These two have been at the top of the card in this Kentuckiana region for the better part of a decade. While they have never met each other one-on-one, -on -one, please believe that Rocco knows what Shane does, and Shane knows Rocco's game as well. Absolutely. And you know, one of the craziest things about this matchup is that these are two big guys. We are going to see them gas early as they continue. Like, when you watch a heavyweight fight, what normally happens? We're seeing knockout blows in the first minute or two. These sure. guys are already sweating. They're already breathing heavy because they've been pushing wall to wall against one another. And so as the longer it goes, power slam what here from the by Rocco Bellagio. Rocco, look at the eyes. He is alive right now. And this is a guy, too, that just found his fire. He came back to professional wrestling to compete here at Derby City Wrestling as he gets ready. But Shane Mercer says not today. To the eyes, to the eyes. There's the thing. Shane Mercer is incredibly strong, but he is not afraid to cut corners. He is not afraid to break the rules if he has to. And believe it or not, we just got an earthquake here in Derby City Wrestling as Rocco Bellagio came crashing outside. I thought I left that in Los Angeles. Hold on, is your, is your life insurance paid up? You got Let me check. Let me log into USAA real quick. They're, they're right in front of us, so the hazard pay may be coming this way. Look out, look out. Oh, Rocco smacks that steel post. Eating the steel beams. Have you ever played the game Rampage, Gilbert, where it's just gorillas versus giant lizards, giant monsters versus monsters? We are getting Rampage right here at Derby City Wrestling. Come on, where's your star at now? Shane Mercer is... Punishing Rocco Bellagio on the outside of the ring here. Shane knows he's not going to win the match on the outside, but he wants to bring Rocco right here, setting him up. Picture perfect. Telegraphing. Huge right to the, to the temple. Back of the head. Right to the temple. Side of the head is what I saw there, Sean. Steps are shaking as he walks up. Rocco is in trouble here. Let's see what Shane Mercer has. Now, Rocco is trapped in Shane Mercer's war. Mercer's war. Mercer making Rocco fight his fight. The ruthless one is in trouble. Can he get back into it? We gotta take our last television timeout. <laughs> I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, 
it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt. We're back, Derby City Wrestling, presented by Car Shield on the air. A dream first-time matchup in our main event this week. Rocco Bellagio taking on the Iron Demon, Shane Mercer. And during the break, it has been all Mercer, Sean Phillips. This has been absolutely crazy. I'm pretty sure that they pulled Shane Mercer out of one of the stables here in Derby City. This guy oh. is bona fide muscles. He slams flip, the 6 flip, flip. I think that Rocco slipped out of the hands of Shane Mercer, again, you talked about the uh, sweating in the opening goings of this contest because power guys don't tend to fight long. Meat bleeds, my friend, when you cook a steak rare, and these guys are two of the largest 28-ounce tomahawk steaks I've ever seen. Reversal of the Irish whip. Rocco lowers his head. Shane makes him pay for it here. Big boot, Shane Mercer. And Mercer, in addition to being, being incredibly strong, is a suplex machine. Look at this! Suspending 6'5", 265 of Rocco Bellagio. Mercer on top, no hook of the leg, and Rocco still got gas in the tank. Do you think that is the first time in his career that Rocco Bellagio has been put up for a stalled suplex? You know, I, I've called pretty, I've called 90% of Rocco Bellagio's matches. I can tell you that it's the first time I've seen it, Sean. Absolutely, a Shane Mercer ranking the neck here, but Rocco trying to find a little bit of life, getting this Derby City crowd back into it. Mercer is a straightforward and cut to the chase kind of guy who walks in, looks to cement his place at the top of a card, and he does that by taking things, well, as he says, to the next level and sometimes too far. You want to get to the top of the card in Derby City, you got to rack up wins against people like Rocky Bellagio. And that's what Shane's trying to do right now. He's bringing the thunder right to the back of Rocco Bellagio, staying hot, staying on top of him. For heavyweights, these guys are moving quick, and Shane Mercer is absolutely in control of this one. Rocco Bellagio seen a fight like few have given him before. And huge shots coming in from Shane Mercer into the corner and a nasty headbutt. This, again, I say a dream match for years. Fans have talked about what would happen if Rocco faced Shane. Who would win? Who was better? We are getting the answer here tonight. And the crazy thing is, anything that these guys do, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, one up against each other, it's going to be competitive. Hold on, Sean. It looks like... Oh, my. I thought that Mercer was going to choke slam, but he's gorilla pressing. Mercer just gorilla press Rocco Bellagio. I have never seen anything like it. Cover here. Shoulders on the mat. And Rocco's out in two. My, oh, my. And Shane Mercer has a look of disbelief on his face, and I completely understand why. He just lifted almost 300 pounds of a human building above his head and slammed it to the ground. And when here's the deal. That's half of what Mercer works out. This guy bench presses 600 pounds. Rocco's light. Rocco's light to Shane Mercer. My goodness. And now he's toying with him as he slaps the back of his head. That has to be demoralizing for Rocco Bellagio. If he wants to get himself out of this one, he is going to need something big right here. I tell you what, Rocco is in trouble. 
Rocco is in trouble in a way that I have rarely seen him in his career, and Shane is impressing in his Derby City debut. But it's like Rocco just heard me because he tapped into some reserve right there, Sean. With a huge powerbomb right there, Rocco Bellagio has a little bit of fight left. And look at this. I almost saw look the ring. Rocco. Look at Rocco. Rocco talking to himself. Did you see it, Sean? Absolutely. Rocco was talking to himself. Rocco was willing himself back into this fight right now. And the proverbial 12th man, the fans, the faithful here, here in the Norton Center, they're rallying behind ruthless Rocco Bellagio. And I misspoke. That's how shook I was. That was a powerful spine buster that Rocco Bellagio laid down on him. And I'm just, I'm lost for words right now. This is, this is the main event we wanted to see, and we're getting it right here. It is gut check time in the main event. Two titans of the Derby City wrestling scene meeting for the very first time in Rocco Bellagio and Shane Mercer and laying it all on the line. To the eyes, to the eyes, to the eyes. What a veteran move there. Cheap, but smart. I'll give it to you, Sean. You saw the sweat, the perspiration just beat off the chest. I didn't jump off the chest of Rocco Bellagio with that chop. I didn't just see it, Gilbert. I think I accidentally got some in my mouth. Rocco Bellagio with some life. I think that Shane Demon, uh, Shane, uh, the Iron Demon covers. Power slam, cover here, leg is hooked, and that is not enough. But what I was starting to say is that Shane Mercer does this incredible follow-away slam, throwing his opponent over the head from the top rope. That is the way he wins matches. And I think that he was trying to set, set Rocco Bellagio up for it, Sean. Absolutely. And look at the eyes of Rocco Bellagio. He's got that crazy look in him because he is not done yet. But he's going to need a miracle if he's going to get back into this one right now. Shane Mercer saying it's over. Get out of the way, ref. High risk maneuver right here. Moves off. Nobody home. Big for kids Shane Mercer. don't usually move like that, Sean. They call it a high risk for a reason. The risk did not pay off, and a window of opportunity has opened now for Rocco Bellagio. And big bombs, big boots, big uppercut. Rocco's going on all guts now, trying to get to glory, trying to get back into this match. Oh. Huge splash in the corner, lift him and right up. There's the slam. And Rocco showing us that he's going to send Shane Mercer for the ride. Will he connect on the choke slam? Mercer, nay, dang near touched the lights. The leg is hooked. And Rocco, Rocco, Rocco has done it. Rocco Bellagio gets Shane Mercer. Rocco Bellagio. What a hard fought, gutsy victory for Rocco Bellagio and an incredible main event here. Guys, I want to go back and look at some of the moments in this matchup. There were so many of them. The suspended stall suplex. The gorilla press, Sean, have you ever seen anything like it? Never in my life, but guess what? I am honored to be sitting right next to you here, getting the opportunity to see these two beasts Rocco collide. took so much punishment, but at the end of the day, this was the difference maker. The choke slam, one, two, three, and a key signature victory for Rocco Bellagio. I tell you what, the committee has got to take some notice of this guy. He is climbing his way back up into title contention. That's going to do it this week for Derby City Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. For Sean Phillips, I'm Gilbert Corsi saying thanks for being here. We'll see you next week.